Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a video on esters and esterification. Um, esterification is a very, very uh, important reaction in the industry. It's used a lot with anything related to perfumes and flavorings. Um, it's made lots. It's used a lot to make a lot of artificial type flavorings that represent um, different types of fruits and whatever. Okay, it's typically recognized by an organic acid, some type of carboxylic acid, reacting with alcohol. To give you the ester and water okay now <clears throat> the thing about it is sometimes it looks confusing but here we go now we can think we can memorize it like this acids right if you remember the Arrhenius theory give us um, H plus right so we can think of the H plus of the acid and the OH of the alcohol the two things that identify the groups okay coming together to give us water right and what typically happens the carbons from the alcohol eventually attach to this oxygen over here to make a single bond, okay? And you produce an ester over here. So remember, all the time, the single bonded oxygen over here, okay, contains the carbons that came from the alcohol, all right? And the rest of this guy right here, all right, the rest of it comes from the acid. And the C double bond O group, OH would be acid, but if you put some carbon here, okay, you now have an ester on your hands. Okay, now in terms of naming esters, all right, we follow these rules right here. The carbons from the alcohol get treated as a branch or alkyl group, and the alkyl groups, remember, and have a YL suffix ending, all right? And how do we recognize the carbons from the alcohol as opposed to the carbons from the acid? The carbons from the alcohol are always attached to single bonded oxygen only. So if you look at these two pictures, this one in the upper right right here, this carbon right here is attached to single bonded oxygen only. He came from the alcohol. These carbons right here um, are attached to single bonded oxygen only. They came from the alcohol so that's how you know so no matter how they draw the picture I give two different representations here okay um those carbons came from the alcohol the rest of the units the rest of the of the molecule came from the acid so now we're gonna follow the rules in terms of naming the acid now I want you guys to pause the video and see what you do okay now, we said before, the car uh, carbons from the alcohol get treated as an alkyl group, all right? The carbons from the acid, right, okay, the C double bond O carbon, C double bond O and the rest of the carbons, okay, get treated as the parents, okay? And we simply drop the IC of the original acid name and add ATE. Now, we know from experience of naming other things, the parent name always goes in the back, right? Okay, and the alkyl group will go in the front. So how I like to do it, I like to do the alkyl first, okay? So on this guy right here, all right, single bonded oxygen. I know these guys came from the alcohol. I know I have to treat them like a alkyl group. I have three carbons, okay? I look at my reference table, okay? Or I know from memory that that refers to prop. So I go P-R-O-P or prop. All right, now since I'm treating it as a alkyl group or branch, it will get a YL ending. So I'll say propyl or propyl, all right? And I know that now I have to name the rest of it, right, as a parent. And I have one, two, three, four carbons here, right? Now, originally, this guy was an acid. It was butanoic acid, a four-carbon acid. Now, what I'm going to write down is B U T. A N right now I'm not gonna write the OIC down because what happens is we'll we're gonna be gonna drop the IC so it's gonna be butanol the IC gets dropped and we add A T E so it goes to butanoate it was originally butanoic right but we dropped the IC and added A T E and that's how we got butanoate so propyl Butanoate is our answer for that guy, and you're done. Okay, so it's not that bad. Once again, I have this other guy over here. All right, I have my carbons attached to single bonded oxygen, so I know 
I'm going to treat that as my alkyl group. So I'm going to say I have one carbon alkyl, so that's M-E-T-H, meth means one, Y-L ending, okay, treat it as an alkyl group, a branch. I have, once again, one, two, three, four carbons right here. So that'll be methyl, okay, bu no eight okay and i'm done so whatever this guy is treat it as an alkyl group okay alkyl group and whatever the rest is okay treat it as the original acid drop the ic add ate and you're done okay guys as always hard work plus sacrifice equals success i hope this video was a help um esterification is a nice reaction okay it's very important in the industry uh don't get confused by the different structures and take care